So on the mentor card first, uh, so one of the things that each one of us really has as we grow in our lives is a huge experience. And the objective is, can we really use this experience to handhold somebody, to unlock the potential of somebody? That's what we are trying to do, whether for students, whether for startup entrepreneurs or for working professionals uh, in the range of five to seven years, 10 years experience, how we can mentor them, how we can ensure that they grow in their lives and whatever we have learned in our lives, can we share our experiences with them? good, bad, ugly, all experience, so that they don't make the same mistakes that we would have made. Uh, so that's, that's the thing that we are doing and the hundreds and hundreds of mentees that we have. But coming back to your specific uh, question that you had, uh, Deepak, and I really like what uh, Preeti and uh, Sushil said. So let's talk about, you spoke the word transformation. Transformation to me means that you change the shape of somebody or look of somebody, which means that a CIO, how, the world looked at CIO maybe till two, three, four, five years back, and the way people look at the corporates, look at CIO is very different. And that's where the entire role has really transformed or is transforming depending on the organization. And one of the key things which really has changed over the last few years and with COVID that will change even faster is that the role of CIO is going beyond just the IT piece and getting more as a business strategist for someone who's really helping drive the business. Because what COVID has really told organizations is that without IT, without technology, the business can't. You can't even survive without IT. So whether it is people working from Leh and Ladakh somewhere or working from home or from anywhere else, technology has to be there. And that's the key thing. That So I'll just give maybe one or two simple examples as to how uh, uh, CIO can really start thinking and how many of these guys are changing their uh, role. So one of the business model trends, one of the trends that has happened a lot in today's world is something called ROPO, R-O-P-U. ROPO basically means that all of us as customers first do tons of research online and then we purchase offline in case we are purchasing offline. Now think from a CIO perspective. The sales of that company now depends on how much is, how good is the online presence of that particular organization, whether it is in terms of a digital showroom, whether it is in terms of what you do on your mobile phone, whether it is on the chat pods, anything and everything, and how the products are being given on a 3D using AR, VR, whatever. So what is really happening is the CIO is actually helping the head of sales to ensure that the sales really happen. The CIO in case of AIMS is really helping, uh, helping the doctors as to how the surgery would happen. Maybe they can use all the glasses and they can teach the students somewhere over there that this is what you need to do. Similarly, for all of the organizations, so that is where the role of CIO today is transforming from beyond just someone who is ensuring that the lights are kept on. That's what the word uh, Preeti rightly used, uh, that the CIO has gone way beyond. And that's the transformation that is happening. And the last piece I'll see is that says that over the last 12 to 16 months in the COVID period, what we have seen is suddenly this transition phase, the speed of this transformation has grown so high that a lot of times even CIOs are not able to cope up with this change. And that's a struggle many CIOs are also going through today. Because suddenly everybody, in, anybody is looking at CIO to ensure that the business uh, transforms and survives and grows. Yes, uh, you are right. 